Welcome back, Wildcats. Today is Monday, August 31st. I'm Lexi Vorndran, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We hope everyone is doing well and healthy this year. We are so happy to see all of our peers coming back to school persevering. We are so proud of you. This year we will be starting to make feature videos of individual students and faculty members that have good stories. Please DM us at wctz.news on Instagram if you think yourself or someone of your choosing has a story that deserves to be told. Now to Principal Rick Fleming with the news of the week. Hey Wildcats, I'm here with Principal Fleming with the rundown on campus. Thanks Josh. A couple announcements that might be a little long today. Obviously these are extraordinary times. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. I first want to thank all of our Wildcats. It's been a great opening. I know we're all transitioning to the block schedule and the three lunches and that's just something we have to do. We certainly hope to go back to our power hour sometime in the future. We're not sure when that may be, but it's been a great opening. I know many of you are excited about getting back to some school activities in addition to classroom work. And just so you know, we've been authorized to be able to start athletics in the very near future. Some things for volleyball I want you to know. Uh, we can only allow parents of siblings at West Shore visiting the school and visiting school players to attend games in order to maintain the 25% capacity guideline. Unfortunately, extended family, friends, and students will not be allowed to attend those matches. So that's very important, just the family of the volleyball players. For swimming, unfortunately, we will not be able to allow any spectators on the pool deck. Between the swimmers, coaches, timers, scorekeepers, and other staff, we are, again are at that 25% limit. So anybody wishing to go to the swim meets will have to sit outside the fence or stand outside the pool gate. Also for golf, bowling, and cross country, Policies for spectators will be up to the golf course, of course, for the golf, and the bowling alley will have their own set of guidelines as well as uh, uh, the visiting school. If, if spectators are allowed, they'll need to wear masks and maintain six feet of distance from the athletes, coaches, and any other people at the bowling alley or the cross-country meets. So the cross-country is outdoors, so we should be okay as long as you're wearing masks. I'd like to at this time welcome our new incoming seventh grade class and any students who are new to West Shore. It's been a very unusual opening. We haven't been able to do some of our fun things like our seventh grade scavenger hunt that many in our school already got to do as seventh graders. So it's a, been a different opening for them. So any help from upperclassmen to give acclimating our new seventh graders and anybody new to West Shore, uh, getting them acclimated to our school would be very helpful. Um, I also have several things. We've got some new folks on campus. I know that you've already met them, but I'd like to just give a shout out. First of all, in our science department, uh, Ms. Matoska, who's teaching biology and anatomy. We're excited she's here. Ms. Hoskins, uh, Ms. Wells, and Mr. Bramlett are teaching in our social studies department, and we're happy they are here with us as well. We have in our math department, Mr. Pittenger, in our world language department, Ms. Stewart, and of course, our new technology specialist, uh, due to Ms. Friend retiring, is Mr. Tony Albert. You can't miss him. He's got the big beard walking around campus. You can't miss Mr. Albert. He's done a magnificent job in getting us up and running with our e-learners as well as our in-person uh, uh, classroom. We also had the unfortunate uh, sudden retirement of Ms. Fallon. We just recently had interviews today. We'll be announcing her replacement sometime early next week. So we're hoping to get that out to the students and get her in over the next two weeks once we complete paperwork so she can take over those classes. Um, just a couple things, students. I want to thank you uh, for the one-way hallway traffic, abiding by that. Also, uh, adhering to the mask policy that we have in and around campus. Um, I know it's been difficult. You haven't been in school in, in almost six months, and getting reacclimated to school policies and procedures can be a little challenging. I do want to have a shout out to our young ladies out there. I've had a lot of dress code violations, so please help us out in helping you making sure that you're in dress code before you leave your house. Uh, other than that, uh, that's all I had. I'm excited to have all the students back. I know they're excited to be back, and you guys are excited to resume some activities. I'm excited about athletics. 
We don't know about our fall musical or some of the uh, other things that we have. Our clubs uh, regarding student government and uh, NHS and class officers, those sponsors will be getting out information about those meetings. They may be virtual uh, through Zoom or Skype or the like, and those sponsors will let students know through announcements uh, on our WSTZ uh, news station. So thank you everybody for a great opening. Excited to have you back, and uh, we'll be back on the air soon to give you some more announcements. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Mr. Fleming. Thank you for tuning in to this year's first edition of WCTZ News. This has been Lexi Bornjern. Have a fantastic day, Wildcats.